Hey, Jazz Hands Machine Dana, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to gamble. Uh, not like that, okay, not, not that type. It's gambling with bets on Cloudbot from Streamlabs Online. Yeah, that's what we're doing. This is not to be confused with the gamble command that you can use in chat, which is a module within Cloudbot. Gamble command I've already done a video on. Please check the link in the description for that particular video. There are a number of different ways you can gamble loyalty points on Streamlabs on your stream. And this goes for Twitch and YouTube and I think Facebook gaming as well. I'll drop a number of different links for different videos of how you can do that. This particular video is focusing on the bet function. And with this, you basically define one or a number of different options for your chat to bet on and there's a multiplier for the winner you basically manually pick the winner once you know what the outcome is now this can be used for anything it can be something to do with your stream it might be something sports related that you're betting on it might be like virtual horse racing like snail racing or something like that i, I don't know what you guys get up to so just, just don't just don't hassle me over the content okay i'll show you how to do it you can implement it okay that's the beauty of this i don't have to be creative i can just tell you how to do it okay that's great so in the video i'm going to show you how you set up a betting profile the different options how you tweak it the settings and of course then how that looks on your stream i'll be using twitch as the example because i use twitch uh, check me out if you want to ask me any questions at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana if you do find this useful i'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video and of course you're welcome to subscribe as well i do help streamers to level up their stream okay i think we're ready for it let's go Okay, so we've got two panels open here. On the one side, we've got Twitch, and I'll show you what all this looks like in real life. On the other side, we've got the back end, the settings, which is Streamlabs Online. You will need to have a Streamlabs Online account. It's free. There is a Prime upgrade to this if you want to, and you get a load of extra stuff with that. If you do use the Prime upgrade, use my code in the description. It's affiliate code. It supports me. And guess what? You get money off your order when you use that. But the CloudBot function is actually free, so you don't need to have the Prime upgrade on Streamlabs Online for that. You can also log in using your Twitch or YouTube gaming credentials here. So you don't even have to set a password or anything like that. By logging in, it also links your Twitch or your YouTube gaming to Streamlabs Online. I've done loads of different videos about CloudBot. So please feel free to browse all those videos. Literally done a video on pretty much everything. So even uh, widgets and things like that away from CloudBot. So we're, t we're today concerned with the betting tab here within CloudBot. You need to make sure that CloudBot is toggled on like this and you need to go into your chat by forward slash modding streamlabs in your chat you literally type it in your chat press enter and that will mod streamlabs as a bot to your channel first things first here the cloud bot function a lot of the different things rely on the loyalty points system it's this loyalty points here and all it is if we look at the settings is the points that people get per interval in minutes or how many live users uh, payouts to active users like an accumulator they get points for following for subscribing all that kind of stuff so this just tags all of that and, and pulls up extra loyalty points and it's exactly that it's trying to build up loyalty for your viewers you can then use those loyalty points within the modules command as i mentioned earlier the gamble mini game is not what this video is about and i will link that in the description we're talking about here the betting profile so we're talking about here betting on events and of course you're only betting loyalty points here not actual money so before i get into the betting profile i just want to quickly go on to the settings section here first of all repeat messages i find that the repeat messages do kind of help increase the engagement with all of these things so wherever you've got an option to use repeat messages unless you've got like major spamming on your chat already then i would i would probably toggle this on and it's just a message that says betting is open and it's a reminder that what you've set up is actually going to be used kind of thing just like a prompt for your users to to engage with that you choose how many chat lines need to have been said before that is repeated in your chat you can customize the messages here for open messages close cancel and the win messages for the bets you can even put like emojis and stuff in here to make it a little bit more creative you don't need to mess around too much with these one just quick pro tip here is i would put forward slash me at the start of all of your messages, not just here, but everywhere within CloudBot and everywhere within uh, Streamlabs Online where there's messages. That just means that the text color will be the color of the bot's name. And it's a little bit more distinguishable from normal people chat. And that'll just help you focus in on your own chat a little bit better. So that's the core settings out of the way. We now need to add a betting profile. So I'm gonna click betting profile here. We're straight into it here. We design the profile. First of all, let's give it a title. What are we gonna bet on here? Um, how many views will this video get? Yeah, let's do that. How many views 
will this video get? We're going to say option one is uh, zero. You don't need to do the exclamation point at the start of it because it will add it automatically for you. 10 views. We'll add one more option, which is probably the most likely outcome of this video. 9 million views. Like that. So we've now got our betting profile sort of set up here. You can bin off the options here or edit them by binning them and re-adding them. We just quickly look at the advanced settings. You can choose to have a timer, which then allows the betting to be open for a certain amount of time and then shuts it off. Let's just say, yeah, we want a timer and we want to run this for a value in seconds. Let's say we want it to run for 10 minutes, which is 600 seconds. Quick maths. We also now got to define, remember this is using the loyalty points that people will have accumulated. We might want to set a minimum here or you can just set the minimum to one. It depends on what you want to do there and the maximum as well. And then we've got a reward multiplier. So if people bet on the right option, then there's a multiplier here. Now, what I would just say here is the more options there are, probably the higher the multiplier you want to give. If you've just got like two options and then you give him someone like a tenfold multiplier, that's going to, your loyalty points is going to go exponential and, and like inflation and all that good stuff. And before you know it, your currency will be worth absolutely nothing. And nobody wants that. Okay. So we'll just leave this as a, a one fold multiplier. And then we also, we've got an option to send chat notification. So this notifies a viewer that their bet has been registered in chat. I would recommend doing that because it just is a confirmation it means that people won't ask, be asking Machine Dana has my bet registered it's registered okay it says it in chat don't ask me I'm too busy focused on the crap content that I'm creating quick done on that we've got our betting it's not actually started so don't add in comments like, like why is it not working why you've got to you got to press start okay press start that will make it work okay you can also go back into this to edit it with the pencil button one quick pointer is hit as well here before people go it's not working what you need to do is make sure that you're not putting an exclamation mark there like 20 because if you do that because if you do that then people need to do the command bet and then an exclamation point in front of the 20 when every other option does not have that you do not need to put an exclamation mark in this option here that will mess things up don't don't mess things up before you even started okay but now i want to start bet and we're just going to take a little look now in the chat to see what's going to happen we'll start bet and we've got the profile still here in Streamlabs online so we as the streamer can take a look at this and see what's going on. We can see here we've got a message in chat which is betting has open for the title that you put. Use exclamation point bet space and then the options 0, 10 or 9 million and then another space and then the viewers get to stake an amount, okay? They can stake an amount between 10 and 1,000. It's, this isn't like a linear thing. I bet on X or Y. They've got to stake an amount because that's what then gets multiplied if they win, okay? You as the streamer can also bet. So let's go bet 9 million because that's more than likely going to be the answer. And I'm going to bet 25 of my loyalty points, okay? Machine Dana has bet 25 on 9 million views on this video. This is updated in the back end so you can see that. If the viewer does not get a response here, it more than likely means that their loyalty is not up to scratch, okay? They don't have enough loyalty to your channel. They need to tune in more. Right, they need to follow, subscribe, like, like sell their grandmas to you, everything, okay? And you can search for people. I can see here I've got plenty of points for, for my own channel. And, and of course, I've watched it for 343 hours. Why wouldn't I have? So that's that. We can manually close the betting. I don't think you can bet twice. So N or another 25. Yeah, you can't bet twice on more than one options. You get a total amount of loyalty points that has been staked and the number of bets, and then this is the timer. So you can also now manually close the betting when you're ready, and whatever the outcome is, you then have to manually pick what that outcome is. We get a message in saying, betting has closed. Thank you very much, Streamlabs. We pick a winner. 9 million views was the winning option. My loyalty points will have updated then in Streamlabs Online to give me an extra 25 points. Wonderful. Just a few extra tips here. You may want to look into commands and the default commands here because there is a section called loyalty and under loyalty, there's a number of default commands that you can edit, which may help you to enhance the loyalty point system. For instance, the command GK for me is my, my points are called girth clout because it's girthy clout, okay? So I've changed mine to exclamation point girth clout, and this displays the amount of currency the user has. And that stops you from having to manually look it up. They can just do the command. But by default, this one here is actually exclamation point points. But I've been big brain enough here to add exclamation point points as an alias so that it doesn't matter whether someone types exclamation point points or GK, they're going to get their balance. So let's do this. GK. There you go. I get my balance. 
And guess what I also did? I put forward slash me at the start and therefore it's called the text as well. Wow, amazing. But you also get a number of other things you can do as well, like the top users, the top hours and, and adding points and, and, and removing points and, and giving points and, and, and all that kind of stuff, okay? Finally, you can also make a store, like a loyalty store, where people can redeem like voice commands and stupid stuff like that. So like check out another video in the description, which is loyalty points. This video is one of about eight videos that are currently like pretty much carrying the channel here right now. So thanks for the views. <laughs> There you have it. How you can set up betting profiles for different events that you choose on your stream. And then just to automatically assign the points to all the winners that betted on the right outcome. Now all you have to do is make sure that there's 9 million views on this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.